Before we had smartphones, before TVs, even before computers, there was something amazing, called the radio. It could send sounds through the air. No wires, no internet, just magic. A long time ago, in the 1800s, people used wires to send messages. This was called the telegraph. It used dots and dashes to send words. But one man had a big idea. What if we could send messages without wires? In 1895, a young man from Italy named Guglielmo Marconi tried to do just that. He built a machine that could send a signal through the air. It made a simple sound, beep, but it worked. That was the first time sound was sent wirelessly. Marconi had just made the first radio. People were amazed. By 1901, Marconi sent a radio signal across the ocean, from England to Canada. It was just a few letters in Morse code, but it showed the world that sound could fly across huge distances. But wait, it gets even cooler. In 1906, a man named Reginald Fessenden made the first voice radio broadcast. He spoke into a microphone, and people on ships, far away, heard him talk, and even play music. It happened on Christmas Eve, for the first time ever. People heard a real voice, on the radio, from simple beeps, to music and voices. That's how the radio was born. And guess what? Even today, we still use the same basic idea. To listen to music, podcasts, news, and more. All thanks to one idea. Sending sound through the air. Pretty awesome, right? Don't forget to like and subscribe for more cool stories.